Hello and welcome to the channel and welcome to another Lost Reaction. This is uh, Season 1, Episode 3. I think it's called Tabula Rosa. I don't know what that means. Something red. Red table. Red blood. Red rose. Blank slate. Okay. Okay, I did get that wrong. It's a blank slate. Tabula rasa. Rasa. Rasa, I don't know. I... Do apologise for the episode two being completely screwed up. I I had, didn't have my microphone switched on. Stupid rookie mistake. I hope you enjoyed whatever it is that I came up with to compensate for my mistake. Um, I say that because I haven't actually done that yet. So <laughs> that's in my future. Okay, last episode. Um. Lots of things happens, but there's only two things that I'm really, really interested in at this stage. That is the identity and fate of the mysterious girl that was sending the messages for 16 years in French. That was creepy as hell. And whether the shrapnel victim, i.e. the US Marshal, is going to tell all the others about who his captive was. Because that puts Kate in a very... Kate? Have I got that right? That puts Kate in a very, very awkward position. I'm also interested in where the tail section landed, because uh, from the flashback, it looked like the tail broke off while they were still over the sea. So does that mean that maybe survivors are going to suddenly make their way to the island at some point if not then bodies are going to be washed up at some point and that's going to be grim let's get on with this it is odd seeing Belle with blonde hair I know that's her natural hair but I've just got used to her being dark haired Jacket pocket. Oh. Jacket pocket. Okay. <laughs> He's blabbed. She's dangerous. She's dangerous. Why is she dangerous? Page two of two. What does page one of two say? What's this? Uh, <laughs> yeah, we know. Uh, what do you think she did? It's none of my business. She looks pretty hardcore. Early. Good morning. Morning. I was sleeping in my sheep pen. Sorry. Oh, right, okay, we're going to get Kate's backstory before the flight. You hungry, Annie? Ah, nice old man. You want to tell me why you're trespassing on my property? I ran out of money. She's not dangerous, is she? <clears throat> Do you know how to work one? You're offering her a, offering her a job? My wife died eight months ago Wednesday. She left me with too many chores and a hell of a mortgage. If you help me with the first one, I'll give you a fair wage and a place to stay. Deal. Yeah. Uh, I'm a lefty. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't met. I'm Kate. I'm scared. <laughs> Hurley. I was just looking for Jack, and I thought he might be in Yeah, there. no. Uh, he went to go get some medicine. Over there. 
That's funny. That is so funny. <laughs> Did she steal off the old man? The old farmer, you? <gasps> you did, are oh, you? Bitch. The bank would have given you a heck of a toaster if you kept that in a savings account. What do we need a toaster for? You're hiding your wages in a tin oh, can. Oh, it's your wages. Okay, okay, I'll jump to conclusions. I got trust issues. Maybe you ran. I always knew you'd leave here someday. I guess I hope it wouldn't be in the middle of the night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So am I. Hey, Annie, why don't you just stay one more night, eh? I'll drive you to the train station first thing in the morning. I promise. Not Hawaii. Yeah. She's gonna go anyway, isn't she? I get it, you know. Everyone deserves a fresh start. Oh Extreme. What did she do? To cause so much hatred. Look at me. Look. Yeah. What are you looking for, Ray? What? There's someone following. Oh. That's a not a good car, isn't it? That's not a good car. Did you call the cops? How long have you known? A couple of days. I saw your picture in the post office. I guess they knew you were down under. Still no clear as to what actually happened to her. What she's accused of. Or anything. Yeah, Walt, I will. You don't care about Vincent. I'm going to get your dog back as soon as it stops raining. Hey, listen to me. I'm going to get your dog back. Go on, then. The weather is really freaky here. <laughs> so yeah, go on then. Stopped. God, and that killed the old man. She just left him. Oh no. Okay, I'm jumping to the conclusions. Sorry. <laughs> it's not as if you didn't know. the rubbish out of me <laughs> and there we go hey Kate is that is this her ex-boyfriend or something so where is the fugitive in the tent <coughs> let her alone what's she gonna do 120 pounds soaking wet yeah but she's got that gun <laughs> what gun she's strapped Well, she hasn't done it. You didn't hear a gunshot. You left the gun with him. That's fair enough, actually. What? You did it. What did you do? What you cut? 
Oh my god, he didn't do it. Oh, no way. Oh, now he's got a gunshot wound as well. You shot him in the chest? I was aiming for his heart. You missed. Man, oh, you dick. Breathing? You perforated his lung. It'll take hours to bleed out. Oh. I only had one bullet. Get out. Get out! Oh, God, why don't you just do it in the head? Dog whistle. Oh, you wonderful person. <laughs> I tethered him to a tree just over there. I know that Walt lost his mom. I thought that you should be the one to bring his dog back to him. Yeah, that's nice. Go, 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 come on. What's the significance there? They're bonding. Everyone's bonding. God, he is shaken, isn't he? He is broken. He's just watching it all unfold. Is he the one that was responsible for the crash? Because he's is important. He is really important, and I don't know why. Then that's it. Okay, another brilliant episode. This is such a a complete change from Once Upon a Time. Um. I, again, I like the way it's uh, formatted with delvings into the into the past every episode to find out more about these characters' backstories. But it is essentially uh, it's very an emotional character growth survival type program. Um, I really like Locke now. He's weird. I still think he's a weirdo, and I'm not entirely unconvinced that he's not responsible for the the crash I'm just going to accuse everyone of being responsible for the crash until I find out who it is <laughs> um, I still really don't know what Kate's done but I've got the funny feeling that it's not as cut and dry as we've expected I, th I think he was in love with her because the way he sh the way he said to Jack um, you two have you fallen for a two or something or she got to you too. So there's something more to there than than strictly meets the eye. I'm not entirely sure she is dangerous. She hasn't proved herself to be dangerous. She, you know, she's had that gun for a while and she hasn't tried to hurt anyone. She couldn't shoot him even in a mercy killing. She saved the old farmer and didn't even steal off of him, even though I accused her of that. So I don't think she's a bad person. And and whatever it is that ended up her up in uh in in, in the US Marshal sites, it's I think that's possibly her ex boyfriend or something that's spread oh I don't know. He's dead now anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Even the Japanese couple are starting to bond a little bit more. That was a funny scene when he caught her having a wash. <laughs> He's very awkward. He's a brilliant character as well. And I love that Locke reunited... Um, I can't remember the kid's name. Uh, with with the dog. I can remember the dog's name. I can't remember the kid's name. It's, uh, it's going to take me a while to get used to everyone's character names. I, I'm still not sure. 100%. But we're getting there. <laughs> okay then. Um, that's it until the next episode. 
I'll see you then. Thank you for very, very, very much for watching, and uh, see you next time. Take care. Bye bye. That's, I don't know. I've just <coughs> closed it again. Stupid, stupid person. <sighs> Bear with me. Bear with me. I'll, 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 <laughs> we're, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there.